Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module 15, lesson five. I'm gonna start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can use an area model and a place value pattern to multiply a decimal by a two digit whole number. The learning objective is to multiply a decimal and a whole number using properties and place value. The prior learning is that students recognize that a digit in a multi-digit whole number in a certain place represents a value 10 times the value of the digit in the place to its right. All right, so moving into the lesson, um, we have a step it out problem number one. It says when Sierra gets home from school each day, she drinks a 0.47 liter container of water. Find the amount of water Sierra drinks in 26 days. So for A, it says to solve, find 26 times 0.47, but write each factor in expanded form. So what this is asking is break apart the numbers so that it's showing what place value it has. So for the 26, I'm gonna break that part into 20 and six. So I have 20 plus six, then, for the, for, for the 0 0.47, I'm going to have 0 0.4 or 0 0.40, and I'm going to have 0 point, skip the 4, make it a 0, and then I have 7. So the 4 is in the tenths, and the 7 is in the hundredths. Now, for B, it says use the rectangle to make an area model to represent the problem. Think about how to divide the sections using the expanded form of the factors. Find the partial products by finding the area of each section. Okay, so I'm going to take my parts and I'm going to put them on the outside of the box and then I'm going to, kind of like what they said with area, I'm going to multiply the two sections together in the box. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to put my 20 and my six for my 26, and then on top, I'm gonna write my point four, and then I'm gonna write my point zero seven on top. Now, for this first up upper left-hand box, I'm just doing 20 times four, so I'm gonna be multiplying four different times. And then in the bottom section, I'll show you what to do and how to put it all together. Okay, so 20 times four I know is 80. And I know because there's just one number behind the decimal in my problem, there's gonna be one number behind in my answer as well. So it's actually just gonna be eight. Okay, now moving to the right, I'm gonna do 20 times the, z the zero, I'm sorry, the point zero seven. So I'm doing 20 times seven. 2 times 7 is 100, I'm sorry, 2 times 7 is 14, so I know that 20 times 7 is 140. So I'm going to have 140 here, but here I have two digits behind my decimal, the point zero seven. So I need two numbers behind my decimal as well in my answer. So my answer is actually going to be 1.4, and you could just ignore these zeros at the end. All right, now I'm gonna do my six and my point four. Six times four is 24. Again, just one number behind the decimal, so I'm gonna do one number behind the decimal as well. And then six times seven. Six times seven is 42. There's two digits behind my decimal, the zero and the seven, which means I need two digits behind my decimal as well. So actually my decimal is gonna go out in front and it's gonna be 0.42. Okay, now for C, it says arrange the partial products that we just found to find the total. So the 20 times the 0 0.4 I found out which is eight. So I'm gonna stick this over here as much as I can and I'm just gonna say 0 0.8. Then the 20 and the 7 I found was just 1.4. So I'm going to try to line these up as much as I can. My 6 and my 4 was 2.4. And then my 6 and my 7 all the way over here was just a 0 and then a 0.4. And I'm going to kind of exaggerate that my 2 is by itself over in the end. Okay, so then when I add them together... I'm gonna have a two by itself. 
I have four plus four plus four, which is 12. And then I'm gonna carry my one to the ones place. So I have eight plus one, which is nine, plus one is 10, plus two is 12. So I have decimal 12. So I have 12.22 liters drinking in a day. My little menu is covering it, so I'm just gonna write it right here. I have 2.22 and a capital L for liters. All right, going ahead to the next page, I have a step it out problem number two. I'm actually gonna do this entire page with you instead of having you pause and do it on your own, just because I thought how they laid this out and this problem was a little tricky and it took me a second so I don't want you to be confused or frustrated going through it so I'm going to stick with you the whole time. All right so number two it says Kennard rides his bike 3.25 miles each day to get to and from school for the first 34 days of school. How many miles does he ride in those 34 days? So to solve, it says find a 34 times 3.25. Use place value patterns to find the product using whole numbers. So for A, it says the factor 34 is a whole number. So that first number we're multiplying, keep it a whole number. But then it says multiply 3.25 by 100 to make it a whole number. So what is that whole number? If I multiply a decimal by a power of 10, like 100, there's this little trick I can do where I can move the decimal as many times as I'm multiplying by how many zeros there are. So in 100, there's two zeros, so I'm allowed to move my decimal to make the number bigger two times because of the two zeros. So it's gonna be like that. So that decimal is gonna be at the end, making it 325 with the decimal right there at the end. Okay, so for B, it says find the product of the whole numbers. So what it's asking me to do is take my whole number 34 and multiply it by 325. All right, I can't do that math in my head, so I'm gonna have to just go over to the right-hand side and multiply it out. So I have my 325 and I'm gonna multiply it by the 34. All right, multiplying by just the ones place, just the four. I have four times five is 20, carry my two. Four times two is eight, plus two is 10, carry the one. <clears throat> four times three is 12, plus one is 13. Now I'm gonna do a placeholder zero and I'm gonna multiply by my tens place in the three. So three times five is 15, carry the one. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and 3 times 3 is 9. All right, now I'm going to add them. So I have 0, 5, 10, carry the 1, 10, and 11. So my answer is going to be 11,050. Now for C, it says, how do you use this product to find the actual product? So remember, what I just did here was I multiplied my number by 100. So I need to be able to revert. So what's the opposite of multiplying by 100? Well, dividing by 100. In decimal form, the same thing as dividing by 100 I'm actually going to write this down for you. So dividing by 100 is the exact same thing as if you multiplied by hundredths. So 0 0.01. Those are the exact same thing. So if I was going to multiply my number by 0 0.01, all I'm going to do is move my decimal back. So remember how I was able to take the 3.25 and move my decimal twice? I'm just doing the opposite now. So I'm moving it back the other way. <clears throat> so if my decimal was right here, I'm gonna move it backwards twice, like here, and now it's gonna be right there. So my new answer is gonna be 110.5. 
So I was able to move my decimal twice to make it a whole number, multiply like normal, but once I moved it twice, that's not the actual answer. I'm not actually multiplying by 100. I was multiplying it by a decimal. So that means I just have to undo it and move it the other way so I get the actual answer that I'm looking for. So for D, what's the actual product? The actual product is 110.5. How many miles is that? 110.5, they just want the unit here, miles. Is the answer reasonable? Yes, because if I were going to estimate my 3.25, I said was just three, and then my 34, let's just call it 30 for easy math, it's gonna be somewhere around 90, but I know that both my 34 and my 3.25 are bigger, so it makes sense that my 110.5 is bigger as well. So yes, it is reasonable. All right, go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems for this lesson, and I'll see you back for lesson six.